A family in Connecticut wants animal cruelty charges lodged against a man who killed their two dogs. That man was hunting and told police he thought the dogs were coyotes, but then he skinned and dismembered them. Here's Seven on Your Side's investigative reporter, Kristen Thorne. What did Simo and Lieben mean to this family? They meant more to us than um, you can imagine. They were absolutely beautiful, very well behaved, very um, loving. If we've owned an animal, we understand that they're going to die. This was brutal. Last November, the two nine-year-old Czech shepherds got out of their fenced-in yard in Ridgefield. It's believed a bear had pulled down the fence. That morning, I got a call from a friend who lives right up over the hill, and she had spotted them and was just letting me know that looked like they were heading back towards your house. But the dogs never arrived. Large search crews of neighbors, friends, and even strangers went out looking for them. And that went on every day until December 12th, until we got the phone call. The message was, I hope I don't have information, but I think I have information on your dogs. And he sent over um, two photos, one of Simo dead and one of Lieben dead. According to court documents, the anonymous caller pointed the family in the direction of Michael Konchak of Carmel. Konchak told police he was bow hunting behind Aaron Caviola's house and killed the dogs thinking they were coyotes. He said one of them also came at him in an aggressive manner. He says it happened around here. Yeah, this is where he said he did it. Where is your house in relation to this? It's right over there. Right that way? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Konchak's arrest warrant says that Konchak took the animals home, skinned them, but said the outcome was, quote, unsatisfactory, so he discarded the pelts in the trash. We know what happened to them. It's not closure because it just, it, it can't be explained on why this happened. Konchak was charged with tampering with evidence, forging a hunting permission form, and for harming domestic animals while hunting. He has not been charged with animal cruelty, which the Caviola family would like to see. Mr. Konchak, anything you want to say? And nothing at this time, thank you. Okay. They were treated so um, poorly when they were killed. We would like to honor them and giving them a type of justice, which would mean some of these charges being um, held. In Ridgefield, Kristen Thorne, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.